This video will show you how to calculate market share in Excel. Here I have a simple spreadsheet with the sales of soft drink brands. These figures are not real, they have just been made up for illustrative purposes. So the first column represents all the brands in the soft drink market. So there's a row for Coca-Cola, Pepsi, other, and then a row for total soft drink sales, which is the sum of all of those brands. The second column shows the brand sales for 2010 and the third column shows the brand sales for 2011. Market share refers to the percentage of a market's total sales that a company or brand makes over the same period. The basic formula is to take the company or brand sales figure and divide it by the total market or industry sales figure. Let's say I want to calculate Coca-Cola's market share of the total soft drinks market for 2010 here in cell F2. All I need to do is take this Coca-Cola 2010 sales figure here and divide it by the 2010 total soft drink sales figure here. So to do that in Excel, I would start by typing the equals sign on my keyboard, then click on cell B2 to select the Coca-Cola sales figure, hit the divided by symbol on my keyboard, and lastly click on cell B5 to select the total soft drink sales figure for 2010. So my final formula is equals B2 divided by B5, and then hit enter. Market share is expressed as a percentage, so let me change this figure here into a percentage style by simply clicking on the percentage button up here. Thus we can see that Coca-Cola's market share of the total soft drinks market in 2010 is 61%. To calculate the market share for the other brands, I need to copy that formula down the column, but there's one other step I should have done in my formula first. Let me show you why I can't just copy the formula from cell F2 down to the other cells as it currently is. I'll click on cell F2, position my cursor in the bottom right hand corner of the cell so that a black cross appears and then click and drag it down to the other cells. See what has happened, I get an error message as soon as I try to copy the formula down. That's because as I copy the formula down from cell F2 to cell F3, everything in the formula itself is also moving down a row. So the formula has now moved from trying to divide the Coke sales in B2 down a row to dividing the Pepsi sales in B3, which is what we want. However, it's also moved the denominator down a row. So it is now trying to divide the Pepsi sales by cell B6, which is one row down from the total market sales figure. And as you can see, cell B6 contains nothing in it, and that is why there is an error. Now what I actually need is for the numerator in my formula to move down a row each time, but I need the denominator to stay constant and to always reference cell B5. So in other words, I want Coca-Cola sales divided by a total soft drink sales, then I want it to move down a row to Pepsi sales, but I still want it to divide by total soft drink sales. Then I want it to move down a row again up here and divide other sales by total soft drink sales. So it's this total soft drink sales figure here that I need to be constant in the formula. To achieve that I need to make a mixed reference in the denominator of my original formula. To do that I will click on cell F2, then come up to the formula bar here to edit it. If I position my cursor to the right of where it says B5, which is our denominator, and then hit the F4 button twice so that a dollar sign appears next to the number 5 only, it should solve my problem. By putting a dollar sign next to the 5 here, it is telling Excel to never move and to always reference row 5 in the denominator of the formula. If I hit enter, I can now copy this formula down and see the market shares for the other brands. So Pepsi has a 32% share of the total soft drinks market and the rest have 7%. Now I could just copy that formula across to the next column to calculate the market shares for 2011, but let me do it manually one more time to show you again.
So I come to cell G2 and type the equals sign. Click on cell C2, type the divided by sign on my keyboard, click on cell C5 and before I hit enter I press F4 twice so that the dollar sign sits before the 5 and then hit enter to finish my formula. If I then copy the formula down to the remaining cells I have my market share figures for 2011. Now I will just highlight cells D2 to D5 and click on the Format Painter button here and then select cells F2 to G5 to copy the formatting with the green borders across to those cells. Now here's a little tip with respect to market share growth. We can see here by the figures that Coca-Cola has lost market share in 2011, going from 61% share in 2010 and dropping to 60.5% market share in 2011, while Pepsi has gained market share. There's a quick way I could have known that Coca-Cola was going to lose share while Pepsi was going to gain share, and that is by looking at the growth rates. You can see that the soft drinks market grew by 7.1%, while Coca-Cola only grew by 6.3%. Now because Coca-Cola didn't grow as fast as the rest of the market, it has lost market share. So in order to gain market share, your brand has to grow faster than the rest of the market. Like Pepsi did here, growing at 8.4%, which is above the market growth rate of 7.1%. Hence the reason why Pepsi gained market share.